Real quick, before we get into the goodness, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you're notified to every time we upload a video. Appreciate you. You know, when I was working in the financial services industry, I worked shoulder to shoulder with legitimate millionaires. I got to sit at the feet and under the learning tree of multimillionaires. I gained a profound understanding of how money works, interest works, value, assets, liabilities. I gained a ton of knowledge. Haven't always put it to good use, but I gained the knowledge. I understand why millionaires only like to hang out with other millionaires because the understanding of those who aren't wealthy is very narrow. It is extremely myopic. They believe that because you have millions of dollars, that it's endless, that it doesn't have a finite limit. What brought me to bring this topic up was Oprah Winfrey and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. They got together and started a fund for all those people that were affected by the fires in Maui. It is called the People's Fund of Maui, which they say is aimed to help raise money for local residents affected by the tragedy. They stated, Dwayne and Oprah, that every adult resident who was displaced by the wildfires in Lahina and Kalua would be eligible to receive 1200 per month to help them through this period of recovery. And they provided a link to where those that were impacted could apply for the funds. Together, they donated $10 million to start the fund off, $5 million apiece. You would think that, wow, man, they are really putting their money where their mouth is. They, they are really doing it. This, this is cool. This is what's up. <sighs> But it's 2023. Of course, people don't see it like that. Nah, the backlash began. Why don't y'all fund it yourself? Y'all can do it all yourself. Y'all can fund that. Why don't y'all fund? Why y'all asking the regular people for money? Those were the type of comments that they received. You had one person say, the math ain't math with this one. You guys literally have so much money, you can donate it and make it back within a year. Can they? Do you know what it's like to run a business the size of Oprah's? How much money that takes on a yearly? This is why I believe that the American public in general needs a better, more comprehensive and deeper education on the way money works. Sure, our economy is shit right now, but do you really know why? The media would tell you to blame this person or blame that person, blame this person, blame that person. But do you really, truly understand why the economy is in the shit of the way it is? You don't. I mean, remember when people said when Elon Musk spent that 40 plus billion dollars to buy Twitter, you had jackasses, celebrities, talk show hosts, mainstream media talking about, oh, he could have spent that money to solve world hunger. No, the f he couldn't. No, he could not. 44 billion, hate to tell you, is not going to solve world hunger hunger it might put a dent in america's hunger issues but that is one of those things where people don't understand the way money works now getting back to this because to me it's the most moronic thing i've seen people actually have lashed out at Dwayne and oprah saying y'all could do this why don't y'all do more why don't y'all do more so let me hit it from this level first for starters i'm gonna hit the basic thing if you don't want to give, or if you cannot give, then don't. They did not put a gun to anybody's head and say, you better give us money. They told you what they were doing. They put in five mil of their own cash. They told you what the intent was, how the money was going to be spent. They gave you all the details for any skeptics and naysayers to know and understand. This is what we're doing. But y'all got pissed at them for creating something and then asking the general public to donate? Let me ask y'all silly motherfuckers who got mad at this. Let me ask y'all this. Do y'all get mad at the Salvation Army at Christmas time when they have the people in the Santa suits in front of all the retail stores ringing that damn bell? Do you get mad at them? Because that's the same damn thing. 
You got a person standing there, Merry Christmas, ringing that damn bell, expecting you to put some money in the fucking bucket. Why don't you go up to them and say, hey man, go take your ass to Hollywood. Go, go work Hollywood Hills. Or in my case, go work North Dallas. Go work out there in Frisco and Preston. Go work, go work out there and ask for money while all the wealthy folks live. Do you do that to the Salvation Army? Fuck no! Because if you do not, shut the fuck up. It's the same thing. Back in my heyday, they used to do telethons. And as a matter of fact, they did one for um, Hurricane Katrina. Did y'all get mad at the celebrities for coming on and performing to raise money from all the common folks out there? With all that star power they had during the Katrina Telethon fundraiser, all those stars could have gotten their pockets and probably exceeded the amount of money that, that they were uh, raising. Did y'all bitch about that then? No, no. I didn't think so. Or what about every Breast Cancer Awareness Month when that comes around? When they have little pink buckets and pink pins and everybody's asking to donate to the breast cancer awareness. Do y'all write y'all local celebrity? Do y'all write y'all local millionaire? Do y'all get in the news or look at the people when they're passing around the um, collection bucket for breast cancer awareness? Do you tell them, hey man, uh, go ask Elon Musk. Go, go ask some football players that live in the area. Nah, you don't. If you got it, you give. If you don't, you don't. Why in the f*** is this any different? Oh, I guess it's because celebrities started it, so you feel that they ought to do most of the funding. And that comes from a, a very ignorant mindset because y'all may have read or heard that oh, Oprah Winfrey is worth $2.5 billion. That's her net worth. And, and The Rock is worth $270 million. That's his net worth. Do y'all know how to calculate net worth? Allow me to educate you. To calculate net worth, you must subtract total liabilities from total assets. Well, what makes up total assets? Total assets include investments, saving, cash deposits, and any equity that you have in your home, car, or other assets. You know, property, all that kind of good stuff. It's not like Oprah Winfrey is sitting on $2.5 billion cash. It's not like The Rock is walking around with his debit card where he can access $270 million. That is their net worth. That's why if you've ever paid attention to something that they've done in movies a few times, when they're doing a real portrayal, they ask how liquid are they? Which means how much actual cash do you have? Rock's net worth, $270 million. That man may honestly only have 15 million in the bank. And of that 15, he just put five of that starting this fund. I'm trying to get you to understand the way money works. The true valuation of funds. Y'all hear these big numbers and think, oh, that's what they got. No, that's what they're worth. That worth is spread out everywhere. Like, why do you think that a lot of these NFL owners can't actually build a stadium on their own? Oh, they may be estimated at so many billion dollars, but they only have so much cash. But that is the way money works. That's why the wealthy only likes to hang out with the wealthy. Because they know the side eye and skeptical looks they get from people that don't understand money. From those that aren't rich and wealthy. I get it. And if you don't understand money, you'll blow through it. If you don't understand money, then it is no good to you. I mean, people who win the lottery, 70% of the people who y'all see win those big lump sums and all that money, according to the National Endowment for Financial Education, 70% of lottery winners go bankrupt within a few years. Because you don't understand money. You see those numbers and you think it's infinite. There is no way you can run through it. Oh, you can run through that shit. You can run through it like it's nothing. So to get mad at The Rock and Oprah for asking everyone else, hey, do you mind donating? They didn't force y'all to do it. They didn't say you better do it. They didn't disparage anyone when asking. They simply said what they're doing and hope that others will follow in their footsteps. Like I said, nothing more than the Salvation Army around Christmas or the Cancer Research Center and Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Nothing, nothing extra. So I don't understand and, and I, I don't get why people got so angry with this. It was very illogical. I understand that right now the nation is going through a rough economic period. Believe me, please believe me when I tell you I understand. But I also want you to believe me when I tell you that there is no pressure for you to give. Look at it like anything else. 
Hell, look at it like the collection plate on Sunday morning at your local congregation. If you don't have it, you don't give. The reaction that Dwayne Johnson and Oprah Winfrey took on of their own volition helping the people that are going through tough shit, the reaction they got, abhorrent. Absolutely abhorrent. Society, you must do better. You've got to do better. You simply have got to stop hating rich people. I'm going to give you another thing that I heard Colin Cowherd say that he got from somebody else. Resent success and you'll never have it. Hate wealth and you'll never attain it. Yo, if you want to hear the rest, make sure you check out our podcast. You can find us on all your favorite podcast platforms. That is iHeart, Pandora, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and Amazon Music. Plus, if you want to reach us, drop us a line. You can find us at freemindthinkers2022 at gmail.com. Let us know what you think about us. Leave a comment below and share the video with as many people as you can. I greatly appreciate that. This is your man, Big Brother Tucker. See you on the other side. And always remember, never be afraid to think differently.